Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this absolutely stunning and very big bow. It's just beautiful. This is probably going to be on many of my Christmas presents that go under the tree this year and certainly for birthday presents throughout the year as well. It's just so so nice and how lovely would that look on a bike? <laughs> just pop it on the handlebars, you know, when you those odd big presents that you can't wrap something like this is perfect. So this is using the, this is one of the new dies as part of the new Christmas release by Simply Made Crafts. So this is called the Ultimate Gift Bow Die Set. Now if any of you watched Craft Stash Live on Friday, you would have seen um, Helen share all of the new release. And this one, I done a gold one. So the gold one that you would have seen there was the one that I done as one of the samples. And it was just, it's just nice. Literally, as soon as you put it on top of a gift box, you know, or on the side of a gift bag, it's just, it's done, isn't it? It's just so great. And they're so fast and easy to make. Now, what I've done here is I die cut the large, the medium, and the small, and I've layered them up. And I'm going to do that one. But you can just use the big one cut two big ones and overlap them and have a, just one big bow that way. You could do a tiny little bow. So this size and this size would fit through your normal machine. Actually, no, I think it's just that one there. So it's entirely up to you how, you know, what configuration you want to do. But this, very quickly, that is how it looks. Okay, so that's the largest one. So you can see why you need the bigger machine because once you wrap each piece around, it gives you that shape there. So you need the large one there. Then you need the next size, that's the medium. And then you've got the small. You also get the little tails here as well. So I've added one there and one there. So that's using these ones. But if you wanted to just do a smaller flower, uh, a smaller bow, so like this one, die cut two of them, or just have that on top of that one, you do have the smaller little tails here as well. Okay, so like so, and then you put the bow in the middle. You also get these pieces here, which are like spirals, which give you the twisted ribbon effect. And you've got these bits and pieces here. You've got so I've got the larger one just to show you how it, you can lay it out on your A4 cardstock and get as much cut in this one piece. And then if you pop that one there, and then you can have one of these either side, like so. Now I don't want the smaller ones, but the two smaller ones, I'll just get one as an example, will go either side of here. They do fit because I done it earlier, like so. And then if you do want to do the flowers, you've got other space here as well to be able to add them in. But for the minute, I'm just going to die cut this here and then I'm going to run through another piece and die cut that one on the top. Okay, so I've got all the pieces there. Next, I find it easier if you just curl all of them. Okay, so I'm just using my bone folder here. You can use a ruler, you use a, like a pencil, you just want to be able to roll the edges and it just naturally then helps that card go into that shape. Okay, and now it's just assembling it. It is so easy to make. So again, if you want to do a batch of these, you can just, you know, die cut all of them at first and then glue them all together. And then I just like to finish them off with a little, I say little, these are the larger of my little kind of um, embellishments. So I'm just popping some glue and then stick it down, then pop a little bead of glue and stick the next one down. Okay, and then turn it over and there is one of the bows. So now if you die cut that again in that size and then offset it and stick it down that way, then you can put one of the circle dies that come in the set and you can have the bow that way. So you don't have to layer it up like this. You know, really, if you think about it, you've got that way to do it. You've got that way to do it. And then you've got them just with two of the same size on top. So what's that, five styles? But you could probably even have more again as well. So, yeah, there's lots of variations, which is good. So I'm just going to do the same with this one here and with the small one. Okay, and then this one here, I'm just going to pop some more glue on the back and then, like I say, you just want to offset it and push it down right into the centre, push it all the way down. You can play around with it after but just make sure they all sit perfectly over those ones. I find the hot glue works well for this kind of style because there is a lot of pressure on that when you're pushing it all together but also because I'm using a textured cardstock so I've got the mirror here and I've got the glitter here so I just find the hot glue plus it's an instant bond as well. 
But if you're just using paper or cardstock, then a normal liquid glue will be fine anyway. Or some of your 3D gels, your silicone glues, things like that will all work fine as well. But um, this is just quick. So now, so you could have it like that and just put something in the middle there. Um, but I'm going to add this final one. I do like it nice and full. And then just as I did before, pop another bead of glue in that one. And then I just want to again offset it like so. And then with these ones here, you can shape them and curl them again if you want, but I'm just going to pop these and I want them to stick out where there's a gap here. So just underneath there, pop that one down. Do them at the same time, pop that, that one that side. And then I've got one of these here, and because it's sticking onto, again, the mirrored cardstock, I am going to pop just a very small bead of hot glue. Drop that in there. And there you have it. Pop that one up. So there it is. Isn't it stunning? They're just, they are, they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And they are better than the shop brought ones because a lot of those are squashed. You know, they, they, <laughs> you put it, so, oh, I've done it before, I forgot, put it in with other shopping and then I've taken it out and it's just been a mess. These are just so dimensional. Obviously it does depend on the cardstock you use. This is thick, heavyweight texture cardstock and I think they look absolutely stunning. So yeah, hope you like them. All the links as always are shared below. Please hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed today's tutorial and so you get to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.